Welcome, all together. I was really looking forward to this movie. I heard about it a while back, and I just saw the trailer. It was released today. Um, I was waiting to watch it so I could make a reaction video right here. Um, and also, after that, I'm going to speak about the cast and give you a little uh, uh, bonus historical info about what's going on here. So let's have a look. Yeah, that's a pretty cool cast right away. Very Nordic looking, unlike the shite new Viking season, which I already made a rant about. I'm liking the nature. It looks like it's filmed in Iceland. He's here. He's here. Father. Father is here. The king, my lady. The king. Uh, Nicole Kidman. Eh, I like her, but maybe they could have done a better job on casting on that. She's going to be in there. I don't know. The halls. See, it's very rare we see a legit hall in Viking TV shows or movies. Thank you, so that's cool. Viking. Yeah, there's a seer or vulva, which I will speak about uh, after because that is very important. So Fjölnir, so that's one of the sons of the Norse god uh, Freyr. Um, I wonder if that's supposed to be maybe a little Easter egg, or or if they're actually gonna put like a historical character in there uh, involved that in the story. Who knows? Alex on the Scotch good. I'm very happy. I like him. Uh, they cast him for a good role here, and he's looking like a badass. You can see here. That's awesome. So I'm seeing some Vitti or Gozi here, like the uh, male kind of religious leader slash sorcerer in the North world. The cunning to break their minds. And night by night, we will carry out my pledge of vengeance. It even looks like Berserkers here with the proper uh, bear skin um, cloak. So uh, I'll for sure speak about that in just a minute. Hold on. Our savior, mother. Yeah, Valkyries too. It even looks like that's awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. That's cool. So, basically, like the uh, top most ignored aspects of Norse spirituality, and really the things that there's so much misinformation about, they've shown in this trailer so far pretty accurately. So, I hope this movie will clear some of that up. Yeah, looks awesome. I'm super excited. Um, even more so when I found out that this was going to be directed by Robert uh, Eggers. I really like his stuff, especially the movie uh, The Witch. Uh, both the directing, cinematography, historical accuracy. I'm very impressed with him and his knowledge of, of witchcraft and the history about it there. So I like that movie. So we can assume he can. he's probably done his homework for this movie and it will also be accurate. Uh, I wish my channel was big a couple years ago because I would have helped on this film for free if they wanted. Uh, uh, there are very few people in the Norse world with legit knowledge of Viking Age magic with witchcraft and spirituality, something like that. A lot of people say they're knowledgeable, but there's only a small few handful of people in the world who who actually know the, sp uh, the sources like I speak about on this channel and I was even approached by a TV show earlier on this year uh, to help with the show and I told him to fuck off <laughs> but I, I definitely I, I support Robert Eggers and he's one of the few directors that Hollywood people you know in general that I would be happy to help with some research so that is super cool that got him on it let's go uh, let's take a look at the cast and see who's playing Alexander Skarsgård has Amlet. Uh, I would have definitely chosen a different Norse name. Amlet is just the Scandinavian version of like the Shakespeare character Hamlet. Um, but I do like Alexander playing uh, the main character. That's uh, that's awesome. He's going to be a good fit there. Nicole Kidman as Queen Gudrun. Great name for a Norse queen. Uh, Nicole Kidman. I liked her. I just don't know if she's going to be a great fit for the role. But let's see. I don't know. Um, Klaus Bang as Fjölnir, Danish actor, I like that. Like I said, Fjölnir was said to be a son of the Norse god Freyr, but um, actually also a real living king too, but long, long before the Viking Age though. Um, see my video on when Odin lived actually and his descendants. 
Anna Taylor Joy as Olga. Um, not a Scandinavian name, but it's it's the equivalent of uh, Helga, which is a Norse name. So they could have just called her that, unless she could have been like an actually a slave from Eastern Europe, which uh, which it does maybe look like from the trailer here. Ethan Hawke as King Eirvandil. Uh, that's cool. Eirvandil is a figure in Norse mythology who basically like loses his toe. I think it, it freezes or frostbit something like that. And it's like Thor who takes the toe and throws it up into the sky. And that's one of the stars in the sky that we have. Um, Björk as the Cirrus. That's cool. Björk the musician. I uh, always liked her. And that's a perfect fit for being a Cirrus. Uh, Verva. William Defoe. I uh, don't know any of these, Ingvar, my Ian Gerard. Havthor Julius Bjornsson as Tuifin. That's awesome. The mountain is going to be in it. I will, uh, I'll be curious about uh, what his role will be in the film. And then Katie Dickey as Haldora the Pict. Yeah, and, and a Scottish actress as the Pict. It, it couldn't get more accurate. Uh, so perfect. All the Picts seem to be out of the history books, you know, out of the sources uh, uh, by the time we get to the late Viking Age. And they were just called Scots by then. Um, but I'd be curious to see exactly uh, what time period this movie's supposed to be set in. Um, but yeah, casting looks great. Accurate so far. Not like every other... Hollywood production that tries to rewrite European history with their woke crap. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I have nothing bad to say about this movie so far. Really excited to see. Yeah, the main curiosity is going to be what uh, exact year this is supposed to take place in. I'm inclined to think it takes place uh, in the Vendel period, right before the Viking Age, actually. So that's for a few reasons. Uh, first, is the weather we see here, you know, contrary to what we see in the movies, the Viking period was actually a, a very warm time in history, almost as warm as we have it today. <laughs> so much for global warming, right? But um, the migration period before that and the Vendel period was much colder with a lot of famine and struggle and plague in the north of Europe. And um, also a big difference is that it was, before the Viking Age, it was many, many small kingdoms all fighting each other, small tribes fighting amongst each other, and um, the Viking period comes around, the weather gets a lot nicer, warmer, increased agriculture, um, population growth, and that's when they felt the need to kind of uh, raid and settle outside uh, uh, of the country. And, and they also got unified under one kingdom in, in Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, working together to fight outside of Scandinavia instead of amongst each other like they did forever. So uh, that's what it looks like in this movie. Uh, a bit like smaller scale quarrels amongst tribes and families. Uh, also want to speak about Berserkers. That too, um, it did look like it in the trailer. Berserkers, like in the early Viking Age and Vendel era, were uh, very valued warriors and they had a very deep spiritual uh, nature to them. But by the late Viking Age, um, they were more like fakers and kind of the village idiots around. They were a bunch of dumbasses making a nuisance to society um, and people didn't like them. I did a video on that with all the sources. You can check it out. Uh, magic practitioners that we saw in the trailer, kind of the same. The, the, the Verva, the Vitki, those kinds of things. Goldi, uh, spiritual leaders. In the early Viking Age and before, most villages and tribes would have a, a, a spiritual leader like this who was in close connection with everyone. They all had deep understanding of the pagan religion and, and magic and spirituality. Um, think of them kind of like the druids a little bit. But these people were much, much fewer and started to disappear in the late Viking Age. And the stories that we have of magic practitioners are mostly Finnish or Sami people um, in the stories that we have. And, and that's when people started to lose their uh, kind of understanding of pagan spirituality and converted to Christianity because of this. Uh, I've done tons of videos on that. Check them out if you're interested. So yeah, every bit of evidence points to this movie taking place probably a little before the Viking Age and, and a little before the time of Ragnar, so you guys all know that. Uh, it'll be around the 700s maybe, but we'll see. Yeah, any more cool information about the film? Robert Eggers co-wrote the screenplay with Sean, who is an Icelandic poet and novelist. Uh, so Sean, uh, I, I think we can be very sure he has good knowledge of the sagas and the Eddas. Those are basically the and the oldest written sources that we have on the Viking Age, and most of them come from Iceland. Um, 
So that should be good if they stuck to that. And some of the other stars co-wrote this. I uh, don't know if that will help it or hurt it. And it's filmed in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Released in April 2022. That's about it. Yeah, awesome. Like I said, I really like uh, Robert's previous movies. I don't see any reason why this one isn't going to be good too, and it, I don't expect it to be 100% historically accurate, but I think it's going to be a whole lot better than most of the garbage we've seen come out in the past couple of years, um, uh, especially because in the trailer I've already seen some great historical stuff. So, yep, looking forward. Check out the channel if you're new and want to learn some more about Viking uh, spirituality and uh, religion, and um, that's about it. We see us next time.